Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of TCG Talk, back today with another video, and in today's video I'm actually super excited to give you my Benji deck tech for Skirmish Season 9, talk about the list, I'm super excited about the list, it's been doing very well, uh, and it's honestly probably the most consistent Benji has ever been for me, and we'll talk about that here in a second, but if you're new to the channel, welcome, thank you so much for stopping by, hopefully you enjoy your stay, if you're a long staying supporter, thank you so much as always, we'll get right into it, check out the Discord, check out all the good stuff down below. Um, I'll pull it up here. So Benji is very interesting. For anyone that's not aware of what Benji does, attack action cards you control with two or less base attack can't be defended by cards from hand. Now really quick, while it's on my brain, this counts as long as it stays two or less. So if you attack with a two power, like let's say Mischievous Meeps, and then you Razor it to make it five, they now can block from hand if they have like a defense reaction. So just keep that in mind. That's a side note. But uh, it also has a once per turn effect. When an attack action card you control hits, your next attack this turn gets plus one. Doesn't matter what the attack is. It could be a Kadachi. It could be a regular attack. It gets plus one once your first attack action card hits. So the key to Benji is you're chipping your opponent down with unblockable damage unless they have a complete armor fridge. And then you're really able to close out the game because they just can't block you. You're also able to sometimes just kill your opponent from like 12 to 14 life. I know today alone, I put on Twitter, I killed someone from 16 life. Um, I ended up killing a Reinar. They had ran out of some of their uh, block value on their armor. And I did some crazy line. It was like double strike. Um, and it was like Roar of the Tiger, double strike, maul. And I ended on like a Vipox. Like I was just, I don't remember exactly what I did, but it was, it was nuts. They were a double digit life. Um, the, so in the past, Benji's been able to be played a few different ways. And the key takeaway I want you to take away from this list is I'm not saying this is the best way to play Benji. You can play Benji in a multitude of ways. Um, some people like the Art of War, uh, Roar of the Tiger, Crouching Tiger game plan where you're not don't have a lot of great block value, but you're really going for this crazy pop off turn with with like Crouching Tigers with like a lot of them, and they all get plus one, then plus one from Benji's ability and one that attacks, and you're basically using a combination of like Roar of the Tiger and Art of War and maybe Predatory Streak to be able to have like a bunch of tigers come in uh, for um, really low amounts and kill your opponent that way. Some people do what I like to call high low Benji, which is you come in with a bunch of little attacks and then you end on like a big one. So they'll do like, you know, a two power, one power, two power, you know, and then they have a card in arsenal like push the point or take the tempo or flying kick, command and conquer, whatever you, you may see. And then they end on that good attack. So they just dealt, you know, two to four damage on you. And then they come in with this big attack that has a decent on hit or just has a lot of damage because... The one thing about Benji, if you are dealing a lot of unblockable damage, is your opponent might just be like, okay, I'll keep all four cards, and if you didn't kill me, then I'm going to try to you know, hit you back. So being able to throw things like Command and Conquer, things like Sensor, what have you, might be more beneficial to you because you're at least forcing your opponent to think about blocking, right? which is, is a key factor. So the thing with this list is what I wanted to do with Benji is I wanted it to be like really ninja-focused. right? I didn't want to have a bunch of like non-ninja attacks in it. Um, I do have a couple, but I want it to, to feel like Benji, I guess is the best way to put it, while also having some consistency. Because one thing about Benji, when you go with like the all low game plan, which is pretty much what I have here, with the exception of two cards, um, or the Crouchy Tiger game plan, is you lose some block value. You have a lot of two blocks on the deck. But this, this list in particular, I've managed to have only two, let's see, two... Um, was it only two now? Actually, I went up. Oh, it's six. Okay. So the only two blocks in the deck we have is Mischievous Meeps, Razor Reflex, and Double Strike. Other than that, the rest of the deck is three blocks or better, which for Benji is super good because you're wanting to buy time. You're wanting to be able to block properly and do well on that. So we'll get into the whole list. So on the equipment suite, definitely play what you want. There's a multitude of different options and I'll talk about them at each slot. So I'm playing Mask of Momentum. One, because I love this card. It's my favorite card ever in the game. It's the first ever high value card I ever purchased. Um, I just love the card. And with Benji specifically, one thing I like about Mask of Momentum is it really makes your Kadachis, similar to like how Ira was, it makes your Kadachis, you know, more threatening. Uh, because most of the time your opponent, unless they just give you all their armor early, can't block uh, your two powers. If you have a, a hand like a blue, and let's just say a hand like Mischievous Meeps, um, you Kadachi twice, they know one more card's coming, and they know it's likely a two power or less, and they're not going to be able to block it. So if they don't block one of your Kadachis, 
they're just going to give you a free mass draw. And when you start including cards like Mischievous Meeps in there, you probably get two mass draws. Um, so they're going to want to block your Kadachi. So I really like having Mask of Momentum in there. Other things you could run at this slot, you honestly could run like Crown of Providence. Uh, Balance of Justice is another one as well if you just want to have that value against Zen because Zen's very prevalent in Blitz right now. Um, you could run Arcanite Skullcap uh, because you get the three block. Very, very useful once you, if you, especially with Benji starting at lower life, because Benji has started at 17 life, you're automatically going to, against most decks, be at that uh, two block threshold. Um, trying to think of other ones. You, I wish you could run Pouncing Links. That's, thank you, Five, for getting that banned. Uh, if we had Pouncing Links, Benji would actually be really, really scary. Um, but yeah, Mask Momentum is the one I'm running. At the chess piece, this is another one. You could run Blossom of Spring. Uh, and I think it might end up being useful. However, I play a very patient Benji, a very slower Benji. So I actually usually get to six turns most games. And so getting two tunic uh, counters is really, or two tunic activations is nice. And the one block does help. It really does um, when you absolutely need it. The arm piece is probably the most controversial. I'm running it because I enjoy it. You definitely could run probably a better arm piece like uh, Tiger Stripe Shuko, which I do have in the sideboard. Um, but Terry and Shuko is really nice because I am making a lot of Crouchy Tigers. I'm making one for my boots. Uh, if Breed Anger, if I can, if I get that uh, combo of having a Crouching Tiger before it, then I make another one. Um, another thing that makes Crouching Tigers is my Maul uh, reaction. Roar the Tiger makes Crouching Tigers. Tiger Eye Reflex makes Crouching Tigers. So on and so forth, right? Even Aspect Tiger of mine, if I can line it up with like a Soul Bead Strike um, or a Pouncing Key off of another... Uh, crouching tiger it'll make it so i have a, enough tiger generation to where this is really nice being able to instant speed uh give my next crouching tiger i play this turn plus two it is it does feel really good in most cases too if you can time it correctly your that crouching tiger is coming in for zero anyway and then you just you know you allow it to uh be unblockable i've had turns where i did like crouching tiger for one um, then I did Breed Anger for five because it got plus one from Benji's ability. And then I made a Crouchy Tiger and then Instant Speed made this, you know, do that. So really, really good stuff. Um, it also has Battle one one, so you're not losing block value. Uh, you still do have some good block value and so does Pouncing Paws. If you notice, all of, all of my equipment blocks, which is really nice. Um, but you could run other stuff. Tiger Stripe Shuko is really nice. I will say with Tiger Stripe, it does make your lines a little weird at times because if you think about it let's just say you have a line of um wander with purpose you have a blue and you have mischievous meeps right or so what you would do is you start with mischievous meeps let's say they don't block it or let's say they do block it with armor or something no or don't block it doesn't matter anyway it has to hit or um for what I'm trying to tell you to do. So you play mischievous meeps, um, it hits, you get Benji's ability, so you pitch your blue at, you pitch your blue to play meeps, then you use your second resource, the Kadachi, for two. And now you normally you would just come in with Wander with Purpose for two, right? And threaten mass trigger and they can't block from hand. Uh, the issue with that is if you have Tiger Stripe Shuko, because it reads the second attack action card you play with two or less base gets plus one and damage can't be prevented it doesn't matter if it hit or not so now wonder of purpose is going to come in for three and in this deck that's we don't want that like that's really really bad because now they can block from hand so shuko really that, that was a weird example but shuko gives you these play lines where you don't want it like even a simple card like double strike if you play this for one and your opponent can't block it it hits if you play double strike again, it's going to get plus one from Benji's ability and plus one from Shuko, and it's going to come in for three, which again, we don't want. Like, that's like the worst thing. Like, if you're going to go over two, you want to be like four, five, six, right? You want to be actually dealing damage. So, Shuko presents some really weird lines. If you play Shuko, you have to really, like, you have to really rely on blues um, more in a fast list with a lot of like head jabs and like zero for one go agains and stuff like that so that's just my two cents um you could run other stuff like gauntlet uh iron um gosh, the gauntlet gives negative one on the combat chain against zen you could run that as well that might actually be not a bad choice if you know you're gonna have a lot of zen in your area it's really up to you on the arm piece i'm just trying to play a little bit into the crouching tiger uh archetype and it's really fun so going into the list the first thing we're going to talk about is reactions because a lot of our cards attack for two but if your opponent doesn't have a defense reaction in hand 
it's really nice because you can react and give more value and, and more damage and so on and so forth so we're running ancestral empowerment card so so good it helps us just get over the top it's a three block uh it does really well on i love playing it on cards like double strike you'll play double strike for one you ancestral empowerment to two draw a card and then come in with double strike for two and then play the card you just drew so like you can really get a lot of good value off of that uh it does really well on cards like spring titans if they do like i've had a lot of times where they block with just armor uh to try to block out spring titans and they don't have a d react in hand and so when i empower it to three they can't really block it um do keep in mind they can block from arsenal if they have a d react but that's you know it is what it is if they do that so it's really good to guarantee on hits with stuff like spring tidings um even stuff like stab wound is really nice uh really good remember it's only a uh, ninja attack so you have to keep that in mind but yeah really really good on that the other reactions i have razor reflex this card is just a game ender it works on kadachis it works on your attacks being able to get stuff like spring titans to hit mischievous meeps to hit even vipox to hit if they try to you know chop block with armor you basically whenever you can guarantee an on hit and you punish your opponent for just throwing armor in front of it uh it's really really nice then we have flick flax just you know zero for four block that has some synergy with our deck uh we can block for five on breed anger and chase the tail afterwards uh it also goes with pouncing key here and aspect of tiger mind so there is some good uh synergy with it and then we also have sink below um as well as a defense reaction and then the final set of reactions we have we have as, as you can see we have a pretty good amount we have maul maul is so nice because it says target attack action card with one or less base gets plus three uh target crouching tiger hit uh, gets when this hits create two crouching tigers in your banish zone you may play them this turn so when you pair this with a card like roar the tiger it gets really really fun uh, really fast uh and you can you're able to like really chain some stuff together on like spring titans turns i've had a roar the tiger maul spring titans turn it was actually roar the tiger maul double spring titans and i ended up drawing like five six cards at the end of that it was really really dumb um but yeah it has good synergy with that uh and also it's able to buff not just crouching tigers but like you can buff um you can buff stuff like pouncing key to close out a game uh you can buff you know it's mainly crouching tigers but it does have some small synergy with like these small attacks you also can buff uh vipox which is really nice so double strike which is really nice so it does have some synergy with stuff other than crouching tigers um then also for reactions to round it out we're running knives out just a really good blue it's blue block three that gives our daggers plus one can really throw your opponent off when they're trying not to block your kadachis late there's sometimes where your opponent's on like you know two life three life and you have a two card hand uh and they're waiting they're wanting to block like just one block with their armor or not block at all because they're waiting for something else to try to see if they if they can live and knives out just as a really good reaction allows you to like surprise your opponent sometimes and eke out some more damage and then finally conceal blade we're running this just to get over the top again this allows us to buff spring tidings it allows us to buff uh, wander of purpose um you know our crouching tigers uh double strike stuff like that so really really good you can run you can play around with the reactions how you want to i've been really enjoying all of these what i like about this list so far is this block super well um when it comes to attacks let's talk about like the really vanilla two powers that just are good mischievous meeps it's worth the two block slot uh this almost always what i found so far forces armor block because the one thing that this list doesn't have as much is sometimes people are just waiting for spring tidings without you having the access to links anymore people really know like that at least no benji know that spring Titans is the card they need to care about but this card will force a little bit more interaction which is really nice so definitely check this one out um again you're wanting to get their armor out early another one that forces armor out that's a two power or less is vipox uh this card's so awesome when you like can do like two or three attacks before it and let's say they've taken like six to eight life and then you throw a bipox and they haven't blocked anything from hand and this says like if you can't block this i'm gonna deal an additional five damage to you one from its uh self and then one for each card in their hand which could be four uh so this typically forces armor out as well uh so these cards are really good for that 
Um, other generic two powers is Double Strike. This card's just so perfect with Benji's ability. Being able to play this for one and then play it again for two, it's basically a zero for three over two chain links. Uh, threatening Mask Momentum Trigger is really, really nice. And then let's see for other generic two powers. Wonder of Purpose, it's m mostly just a two go again three block which is so premium and ninja uh the fact that this is also a th they made this also a three block is so so good it, ha it does have a mini katsu trigger um the only synergy with its ability it says when it hits you may discard a card with cost zero if you do search your deck for a card with combo banish it then shuffle you may play it this turn so it's basically a katsu trigger uh this has really good synergy with chase detail or breed anger uh if you especially like if you can already make a crouching tiger through some other way um and or make two two total crouchy tigers in that turn you can go get chase the tail and be able to have that value play or just breed anger i've had times where i've discarded you know a zero cost of damn matter like a sink and then i go get breed anger um pop my boots to make a crouching tiger and then go one go two because it gets plus one from midji's ability breed anger into something else so it does give you a little bit more synergy but really you're just using it as a two go again three block to be completely honest and then some of your other generic attacks we have aspect of tiger mind this just has good synergy with flick flack it does its ability doesn't happen a whole lot um because you the only thing it's going to proc off of is if you played like soul bead strike beforehand because that's the only card that's going to have go again at blue but i just want to have a little bit more synergy with flick flack that's the reason i have it in here um you could go with something else but i've been really enjoying it and then we have pouncing key just good synergy with crouching tiger this is a little wonky because if you lead with crouching tiger like if you play roar the tiger and a crouching tiger for one this is going to come in for three which could be a little wonky so you have to be kind of careful but other than that uh it's really good synergy soul beat strike one of my favorite blues in benji it's a two go again nine times out of ten this also inadvertently forces out armor block sometimes like if i have a three card hand i'll go kadachi kadachi soul beat strike and force them to give me armor or i'm gonna draw a card uh because they can block with armor to prevent the go again so it does inadvertently force some armor block um, and then finally stab wound this is just really nice it's basically nine times out of ten is a zero for four uh because you kadachi kadachi uh and they don't block the kadachis and you play this or they might block one kadachi and you play this and they lose lose three anyway so uh really good for that some of the key attacks in the deck though spring tidings cards broken um when spring tidings hits draw a card for each other attack action card with cost with base two or less you control on the combat chain so it doesn't care if you hit so I've had turns where like I blocked with a Tiger Eye Reflex from Arsenal the turn before, um, made a Crouching Tiger, then I popped my boots on my next turn, made another Crouching Tiger, uh, then you play something like Roar the Tiger, make another Crouching Tiger, and all of a sudden you have like, and then you, ha you have like three, four chain links, and it, they don't, it doesn't matter if they hit, because then you play Spring Tidings, and if you can get it to hit, you're going to draw like four or five cards right depending on how many uh attacks you control a couple key notes with this it doesn't count itself keep that in mind so you don't misplay it in paper another thing is double strike it will not count both iterations of double strike because you don't control that first chain link anymore so if you play like double strike double strike spring tidings it'll only draw one card so keep that in mind as well um, but spring tidings is so so good in this deck uh, and then finally we also have breed anger and chase the tail I put these in for a couple different reasons, and these could be a, a couple other things, and I'll talk about that in a second. But first, let's talk about the synergies. One, Breed Anger, you're making a good amount of Crouching Tigers, so its ability is really nice. Um, being able to, you know, make a Crouching Tiger, uh, you can literally have a one card, let's see, one card, one, two, six, six seven i'm doing math here really bad uh but you, you could have a one card like seven or eight because you could if i'm doing this correctly yeah alpha tunic because you can activate pouncing paws to make a crouching tiger activate shuko to give it plus two uh yeah if i'm doing this right and then you just make yeah you could do a couple different things with it actually be a two card hand i'm trying to think of what i did once or twice but basically the good thing about breed angers allows you to make additional crouching tigers which is good for spring tidings uh it can be buffed um by benji's ability which makes it a one for five three block which is really nice i'm trying to think of that uh sorry y'all i'm rambling ran randomly because i'm so excited about this deck uh 
But Breed Anger just allows you to have good synergy with Pouncing Paws and Terry and Shuko and have like these high value two, three card plays. I was trying to think of it off the top of my head, but I failed on that one. It's totally fine. Um, and then Chase the Tail. This is really good with Wonder of Purpose. Uh, it's a three block. It has synergy with Flick Flack. Um, and on turns where you can make multiple Crouching Tigers, this card just gets you insane value. Uh, it has really good synergy with Roar of the Tiger and Maul. Uh, like off of Tunic, being able to you know, if you have Maul and Chase the Tail, you pop Pouncing Paws, you play the first Crouching Tiger, you activate Maul onto it, it gets plus three, so it's coming in for three, and you make two additional Crouching Tigers. Then you activate Tunic, play Chase the Tail for five, then you play that second Crouching Tiger, uh, you know, and it gets plus three, so it comes in for three. Granted, they can block from hand on those, but it really allows you to just have these really nice high value plays. Uh, even on Benji, and they're all three blocks, so it's super, super, super nice. But yeah, this is the list. I think there's definitely some different things you could do with it. Oh, the sideboard is, I just ran AB3. I gotta respect Blaze and Emperor in this in this meta, especially we have a lot of wizard mains in this area, so I have to do that. We have Oasis in here. Uh, basically in the wizard matchups, I side out my sink blows and I side in my Oasis for spites. Uh, does really well for that. And then Shuko, if I run into a Victor or even maybe even a Terra here in the future. Um, I want to have a little bit more block value, so I will run Shuko in those matchups. Um, also, I run it in the Illusionist because damage can't be prevented, so it is really nice for that um, on, once it triggers. So, yeah, that's basically the list. Um, hopefully, I didn't ramble too much. I really enjoy this list, so I wanted to kind of go through it. There's definitely some different things you could do. Um, the one change I would think about making is one of these two cards. I wouldn't mind having one more card in the deck that forces some interaction. Like, I wouldn't mind having maybe a Command and Conquer here um, or even a Sensor uh, to be able to really force my opponent to make a decision. Um, that might end up being the play. But other than that, I'm really enjoying the list. It blocks super well. It plays very consistent. Um, and then you... You know, you'll just have these turns where you pop off and do and do dumb stuff. So um, definitely give it a try. I will say be patient with this list. This list is not a list you can just pick up and win with. It's not a list you're going to copy into February, put it in the Talishar, and get a 40-50% win rate. When you start with this list, you're going to lose. Like, it takes a while. Um, some of the hard counters for Benji are Warrior. Warrior is very difficult because they have so much armor block, and some most of them have reoccurring armor. So that can be a little bit difficult. It's definitely a hard counter for Benji. Um, Kasai was always, even original Kasai was the bane of my existence. Um, Brute can be a little difficult because they do have a lot of armor, but you can fight through that. Uh, you just have to go into kind of a Kadachi control mindset. Um, but it does pretty well in the Zen because it can race in if Zen doesn't want to block. Uh, Zen does have a lot of armor, but if Zen can't find his cards early, you can just kind of kill him. Uh, but Zen's Zen. It's going to be a good deck no matter what. Uh, it does pretty well in the wizard because you do have a good amount of pitch in here. Um, I mean, we're running, you know, 12 blues and 10 yellows, and we have Oasis and we have AB3. So it does pretty well into those. Um, and then Assassin actually does really well into it. We have Sinks, Flick Flax. Uh, we have decent armor block. We have all three blocks in the deck except for six cards. So it does pretty well into Assassin. Um, yeah, been really enjoying it. Definitely give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, this, like I said, this is the most consistent Benji's ever been for me. Usually it was kind of like this glass cannon, low of the ground deck. You tried to just kill someone off of uh, OTK in them. But this deck actually functions like a real mid-range good deck. So definitely give it a try. Let me know what changes you make. Um, and yeah, thank y'all so much. Hopefully y'all have a great rest of your day. If you like this type of content, please leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. If not me, it's totally fine. Go to another creator, leave a like, comment, subscribe on their stuff so we can get more people seeing this game. And I'll see y'all next time on TC Talk. Thank y'all so much.